She is awesome. She is so hilarious. Give it up for Erica Sigurdsson. Thank you. Yes. I know this is what your boys want, all right? Let's fly in a woman and put her in a puffy coat. That is hot. I love it. Oh, this is great to be here. We wanted to fly in. We wanted to take you guys away from it all for a couple hours. And what better way than to bathe the stage in camo, which I think really and exactly detail how far you are away from home. And kick it off with a rocket attack. Let's do her, CBC. <laughs> Let's rock it. If I can borrow somebody's phone cord later, I need to call my agent. <laughs> Need to make a quick phone call. Sean was right. They are like beating us down with this no fraternization thing. And like, they, I know, there just is like this lecture and the guy's like, no fraternization. And it was weird because he was giving me a shoulder massage at the time. <laughs> I'm like, all right, buddy, I'm trying to shower. Back it off, I get it. <laughs> Speaking of fraternization. I think guys always feel good if their girlfriend's on the pill. You feel a little bit covered. You're like, yes, we can have sex anytime we want. We don't, but we could. <laughs> Every guy in here has probably been hanging out at home, girlfriend's in the other room, you hear her going through her purse and suddenly you hear, is it Thursday? <laughs> Mr. Few, every girl's looked down, you see the pack, Tuesday's blinking at you, it's Friday. <laughs> This couldn't end badly. <laughs> I think it's so ironic that if you're not responsible enough to take a little pill a day, you get a baby. <laughs> that is one hell of a leap in responsibility, isn't it? No good with vitamins? Try human life. I don't, know, I don't think I'm cut out for the whole motherhood thing today. Like, um, kids today, like, we were, you never got driven to school when you were a kid. There could be a pedophile on the loose. All my mom did was dress me ugly. <laughs> she wasn't dropping me off, are you kidding? Now kids are bubble wrap. Moms, everything you feed your kid has to be organic. You have to raise a free-range baby. <laughs> Moms are insane, pushing their kids through the grocery stores, buying all organic stuff. The kid's in the car kind of wobbling around because he's never had white sugar. <laughs> Mommy, I see spots. She's disciplining him with tarot cards. I actually saw a mom speaking sign language to her baby, which I guess is the new thing. Mom want to speak sign language to their kids, which I don't get. Because when I was a kid, my mom had one sign. <laughs> I saw the best thing, when we were flying out, I saw this kid in the airport just beaking off, and I'm thinking, oh great, here's another mom that doesn't discipline her kid. And suddenly the mom turns around and smacks her kid right in the middle of the airport. I know, you don't see the public smackdown a lot anymore. <laughs> and the kid started to cry, and I was like, oh shit, this is gonna be good. <laughs> I was all excited, and then this other mom runs over the mother and goes, you need to calm down and remove yourself from the situation. Remember what your mom would do if she saw another mom spanking her kid? My mom ran over and offered to hold her purse. <laughs> She's trying to tag in. My mom's all over me too. She wants the whole thing. She wants me to get married. And I hate going to weddings. Like I've been to three already this year and it drives me nuts. And I do get choked up though. You know, you go to a wedding and you hear those two words and you get a little tear. I don't care how tough you are. You get that tear in the corner of your eye. Those two words, open bar. <laughs> Promise myself I wouldn't cry. My whole point when I go to a wedding is to drink back the value of the gift I bought. <laughs> Makes it a game. Oh, Coming from the what, Dutch? No thanks. <laughs> Whenever one of you guys has beer, I'm with you. 
I went to the best wedding though this summer where uh, it was two different religions. Like he had actually converted. He was Catholic, she was Jewish. They couldn't marry because they were different. And they're both pretty hardcore. I don't know if that's the term you use when you're talking about religion, like hardcore, like oh, I'm Catholic, where's my wafer? <laughs> but he finally converted for love, left the Catholic church for her and I, like, how many would do that? You leave your religion? And I didn't get it. I mean, like, he was really Catholic, like, the whole thing, right? Like, baptized, catechism, confession, molester, everything, right? <laughs> everything. He was Catholic, that's all I'm saying. Then he leaves and just, you know, goes to Judaism. And I told her I thought it was weird, and she got really huffy with me. And I shouldn't have done it on the day. I respect that now. But, you know, open bar. And she goes, it's not weird, Erica. It's a testament of his commitment. I don't know if I talk commitment with a guy that breaks up with Jesus. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. It was weird being at the market today. Like I went to the market and get, I was getting stared at a lot because you know, the locals aren't used to seeing. I felt kind of like a supermodel. Like it was the first time in my life. I was like, hey, check this out. <laughs> And it's, it's weird, too, because like back in Canada, I think feminism's taken a bit of a dive in our country. Like, remember feminism in the 80s? That was harsh. Women hated everything guys did. You held the door open for us. We kicked you in the shin on the way by. Tried to buy us a drink. We threw it in your face. Now, no girl cares if you buy her a drink. I mean, look at you, cutie. I bet you don't even know booze costs money, do you? <laughs> no idea. Yeah. Funny watching a couple hot girls go out for drinks and get confused when the bill shows up. It's a list of our drinks. That's weird. I didn't come here to read. I gotta get out of here, thank you very much. Okay, here I am on top of one of the Canadian Forces' awesome, awesome vehicles, the LAV-3, light armored vehicle, and uh, my buddy here, Private 